Curtis Calhoun here with MMA News, and my next guest is the most exciting fighter on the PFL roster. It's Cassius Clay Collar joining me today. How's it going, Clay? It's going good. How are you? Doing great, man. Uh, first things first, a few days removed uh, from your win and your last fight. I guess, uh, what are some of the takeaways from your performance, and uh, how would you rate how things uh, played out? Uh, we got the win, so we're excited about that. Um. In the post fight interview, I think I rated it C minus. We were hoping for the finish. Um, so, we still have some yeah. things we need to improve on, but uh, overall, we got the win. We're happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. He came out with kind of an interesting approach, right? A little bit more defensive. Was that something that kind of caught you off guard in there in terms of fighting somebody that was a little bit more guarded? Yeah, you know, um, he, was, he was very good at, at uh, being defensive with my boxing. So he he took a lot of way. He took a lot of my boxing away, which is, you know, my bread and butter. So um, he definitely had a good game plan. I think a weaker man would have uh, probably stopped at those kicks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, we're, we're excited about it. Do you feel like you thrive more, you know, in those, you know, slugfest type of fights when you're able to showcase your boxing and kind of dictate where the fight goes? Is it kind of a little bit more difficult for you and your style to, you know, have to adjust to somebody that's a little bit more tentative? Um, you know, it, it, adjusting is part of fighting. Like every opponent's different. So as long as we we're fighting good, smart fights and they're you know, if I have to be well-rounded and use my other skills, I have to do that. So uh, it is mixed martial arts. Do I thrive when people want to try to box me? Yes, of course. Um, especially if I can throw a kick in there every now and again. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely hoping somebody tries to stand and box with me. And I, I think I do, you know, uh, yeah, thrive or excel in, in, in fights like that when people are trying to slug it out with me. But you know, we adapt and overcome. So where do you feel like you're at in terms of becoming a more, you know, complete MMA fighter? Cause obviously your striking has always been there, but you've also improved in a lot of ways in some of the other facets of the fight too. So where do you feel like you are in terms of, you know, kind of rounding out your game? Um, we're close. <laughs> uh, if I had to give it a percent, I'd say about 80, 85. So we're right there to being a, a full complete fighter. Um, as soon as we figure a couple, couple little things out and, and we keep fighting smart, I, I think we are looking at making it to the end of this tournament. One thing that really stood out from this performance specifically, and, and even from your past few fights is the body shots, right? Obviously those body shots are really digging in and, and really causing, you know, solid damage to him during the fight, I guess. Um, talk to me a little bit about how big that is in terms of your skill set uh, to throw those body shots and dictate where the fight goes. Um, I think it slows, slows guys down a lot too. Um, you know, he was a, a little bit, of a smaller fighter. He didn't cut a lot of weight. I know that. So, uh, yeah, we, we had to tire him down. We had to tire him out, you know, one way or another. And the best way I found to tire a guy out is to just beat up his body. So, um, a guy who's a little bigger, who's cut a little more weight. I, I feel like they do a little more damage, but, um, yeah, I was just trying to slow him down with those body shots. That's something I, I always, I say, kill the body in the, head dies you know so we're just killing his body the whole time how much pride do you take in not only you know getting the win but also being entertaining because i feel like some fighters you know they just go for the win to some guys just like to play it safe but you're out there you're trying to be entertaining as well as win too so how much pride do you take in that well i'm trying to get finishes and i think that's why it's entertaining um I do. I pride myself in it because it, I think it's being a fighter, you know, uh, not to mention names, but there, there's some people out there that are just stalling. They'll take the back and hold on to a guy's back for a round and a half, you know, two rounds. Like it's just to me, you're not a fighter, man. Uh, a fighter is relentless and he attacks and 
you know, he's coming at you from the start of the bell to the end of the bell. And yeah, I do pride myself on, on being a fighter, you know, somebody who, who's a real fighter that's going to come out to bring it. And I'm trying to finish you and hurt you the whole time, you know, whereas <laughs> some other guys, you know, future champions and things like that, they might get the win, but it's boring. Y'all are boring. So that's why the fans are booing. <laughs> Do you feel like, um, you know, as arguably the biggest fan favorite in the PFL right now with your style and all that, do you feel that extra love from the fans has kind of came to you over the past couple of years? Do you feel like your name value has kind of shot up in the, in the league? I would like to hope so and think so. Um, I, I am out here trying to be entertaining and trying to finish guys and putting it all on the line and, not, you know, I wish they had stalling calls in mixed martial arts because <laughs> stalling, stalling, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I, I do pride myself on being a fan favorite. I hope that I gain more fans and I, I hope the fans enjoy what I'm doing because I'm, I'm out there putting it all in the line, you know, so, uh, do you feel like that needs to be universally accepted in terms of enforcing, you know, against stalls and kind of putting more emphasis on damage and activity? Well, I think the point system helps with that a little bit, you know. Um, in other words, like these guys just, yeah, I don't know. To me, you're bitch made, bro, if you're, if you're going to be out there trying to stall out, you know, and, it, and it's visible – during the fight, like if you try to say otherwise, like I, I've watched the fights, like it's visible. You guys are stalling. You're you're taking the back and holding on to the back and riding out around and let's seatbelt and just hang on for dear life for half a round. Get the you know, just got, it goes against it goes against everything about me to to stall just to get by, do enough just to win. Like that's just. Yeah, that's that's not how I see it. I'm trying to I'm trying to beat your ass you know, the whole time. So one thing you mentioned in the post fight interview and, and something that you kind of hinted at is that uh you know you had to go through a lot of change and all that stuff ahead of this fight and just to get to the cage. Um obviously you got a new camp, a new group around you. I guess uh without getting too personal, obviously it's not my business you know, your personal life, but in terms of just the camp and all that stuff, uh, talk to me a little bit about the new environment that you have around you in the camp. Oh man, I, I couldn't be more happy with where I'm at and who's around me right now. Um, I've always had good people helping me along the way, but I feel like I, I finally found my home and where I feel like I'm going to stay for, for a long time. So yeah, we're here. Uh, I'm happy to be where I'm at. I'm happy with my new coaches. I feel like we're just starting to, you know, break the iceberg a little bit, and, and that thing's about to burst open, and and Cassius Clay is going to be the, the name that everybody's talking about. So, Because I feel like nowadays a, a lot of fighters, you know, they tend to jump to – you know, those bigger gyms like American Top Team, uh, those gyms in Florida, stuff like that. But I feel like with a guy like you that's, you know, kind of had that inner circle around him and, and has really thrived off that. Like, talk to me a little bit about, you know, how much of a game changer that is to have, you know, that tight knit group around you, especially when you're getting ready for a fight. Uh, in my opinion, like, I'm on, I'm on this life journey, you know, and, and they're the people – that are doing it with me. So um, I have to have full trust in, in my team and in my coaches. Uh, if, if I don't have full trust, you know, what's the point of even having them there? So um, yeah, I, having that tight knit close groups, is what keeps me going They're They're, they're the reason I keep showing up. So few more questions for me man once again i really do appreciate the time uh do you have any interest in fighting in that pay-per-view event later this year with the pfl obviously you're in the season format right now but has there been any talk from your end or their end in terms of getting on that pay-per-view card potentially uh i haven't heard anything from them yet i'm always open to fight so 
I've been hinting towards I want to beat up uh, Lockname because he's good. I like beating up tough guys, so um, I can. I think I can make forty five one time. <laughs> We're not doing it a whole season, that's for sure. But um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, I'm on there. I'm I'm pretty sure who the fans want to see fight when they hear about the PFL. They're they're talking about watching me fight. So yeah, hope so. Hopefully, we can we can pick a good guy to beat up, man. As somebody that's you know fought in MMA and boxing, I gotta ask you, like Jake Paul's getting ready to make his MMA debut later this year, and obviously there's been a lot of talk about him. But I want to get from your perspective, like how what advice would you give him? you know, to balance, you know, doing MMA and boxing and, and kind of the challenges that come with balancing those two facets of fighting. Man, um, if I had to give advice, yeah, uh, I mean, just focus on what you need to focus on. You know, if you're boxing, focus on your boxing. If you're Gonna jump into the MMA world, make sure you're well-rounded and you got a good ground game and stuff like that. So just, yeah, focus on what you're doing, you know, and, and you can accomplish great things. Gotcha, man. And uh, last question for me, what's your uh, message to the PFL fans uh, for the rest of the season? Obviously, you got another fight coming up here in uh, just a few months. Uh, what's your message to all the fans back home? Uh, I just hope that everybody tunes in and, you know, keeps watching uh, me along this journey of mine. And uh, I hope you're entertained, I guess. All right. Well, Clay, I appreciate the time. I know you got a lot going on. Uh, I'm sure we'll chat again soon, man. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>